Welcome to Lost Planet 2. Uh, this game is a uh, built on a large scale, as you can see here. This is, uh, I think it's this, either the first or second boss. And the way the game is made is you go through a level fighting small enemies and stuff, and you fight a big boss at the end. Uh, combination has always worked for me. I mean, I love the, I love these kind of games. Uh, game trailers actually gave it a 5.9. Uh, I actually score it much higher than that, and there's a lot of reasons, and I'll try to talk about them here now the best I can. Uh, right now, my uh, computer is a AMD 1055T. I'm actually using an Xbox controller playing it. Uh, my video card is a 460 Evega. Uh, I got it overclocked to 850 on the corner, on the RAM. And I'm pushing over 30 frames, and I'm able to record with fraps in 1080p. Some of the features, I'm running DirectX 11 here, is the tessellation I have turned on. If you look down at the water, you can see the tessellation taking effect in the water when he moves around and stuff, the waves and stuff that come out. Uh, the weapons in this game are amazing, but you'll find yourself using the gun I'm using there now, because you'll be running out of ammo a lot. Uh, my next favorite weapon was actually the Gatling, Gatling gun, which is what you just seen. The scope of this game is retarded. Um, the biggest selling point to me is um, I have a couple good computers here. My other computer is an 8800 GTS 640 with an IMB 3800 X2 overclocked at 2.4. Uh, that computer has 2 gig RAM and my new one has 4. And it can play it on and everything on bust uh, DirectX 9. So And I compared the two. So, uh, the way I set it up here is I have two monitors and they're sitting next to each other. And um, I don't really see a difference except for a little bit of tessellation, but even DirectX 9 does it a little bit if you actually look at the water and stuff on it when we're fighting. Something I noticed. So, you're not really missing out by not having DirectX 11. Anywho, on to that. Um, as I said, me and my buddy were playing it. We were playing a uh, two player. Uh, some of this footage wasn't shot with him playing, but some of the other footage was. We'll get into that uh, later in the video where you'll see my buddy playing with me. So I recorded this over two days. As you can see, there's a very there's various numbers of vehicles in the game, and I don't know. I just love vehicles. It's, it's fun. This one has a a rocket launcher. As you can see, I only got like six six uh, rockets left in there. Four now. The really reload time uh, comes up there next to your cursor on the right when you uh, need to reload. You see it going up there now. And now I can fire again. The graphics is beautiful. <laughs> I love the robot's voice. So yeah, two players, and it's up to four players uh, if you have computers to run it, or if you get it on counts. I can't vouch for counts, so I'm a PC guy. But if you got computers to run it, uh, I gotta be quiet here now. You gotta check this out. This is really cool. Up to four players. Just look at the sizes. That is retarded. You gotta fight that too. They don't even hold back. Oh, he creamed me there. <laughs> I actually wasn't expecting to be standing where his lag was going to come down. This is actually the, the pre-fight. You're actually not supposed to fight in here. Yeah, as if a sniper uh, shot's going to do anything to him. Me and my buddy had a hard time uh, beating this guy. Uh, took us probably two and a half to three hours to figure out what we're supposed to do. We kept dying all the time. Now, when we started up the, the co-op mission, we never had no AIs uh, with us. We just wanted to play so we can see each other know where we're to. Constantly died on him. Graphics are superb. Those things that I just passed there, what you do is you um, you gotta tap A when you get next to them, and when you bring them up, you get an extra uh, 500 uh, B gauge if you look at the top left hand corner there. 
if that B gauge goes to zero and you lose 500 uh, every time you die, uh, it's game over for Bodius, no matter if two years are still alive or whatever. One person dies and he has to use 500, that's game over, even if the other two are alive. That's fine, it doesn't injure the game at all. I got the battle armor on there now. I'll uh, switch over to my rock launcher and I'll miss constantly. You can see him throwing rocks down at you. You'll notice that the, the orange parts are where you're supposed to be shooting. If you shoot the lags, uh, he'll collapse momentarily and be stunned. And you can shoot him in the head. The other three players there are actually AIs I have in. I believe I'm going to show off uh, a big warrior here now, a mech, a mech warrior I'll call it. I didn't notice at the time, but uh, there's another feature, multiplayer. Uh, up to three people I believe can get in this one, one on each gun and one driving. I got in the left gun, I didn't, I was actually in a panic, needed to shoot the guy and get him killed. Uh, I, I get out though, I'm going to the other gun and in the center just to show it off a bit. Massive scale, it's so much fun too when you're playing it, trying to figure out how to beat these massive bosses. I mean like brings back to the Nintendo days for sure. This is, this is the way the games probably should be done now, I mean. I'm not a Halo fan or nothing like that, but this one was exciting. I think it was the co-op as aspect of it that really made it fun. Really brought it over the top for me. He gets back up. This is where I switch uh, go on the other side. Like, nope, I want to drive it. <laughs> This is where I fucks it up. There's another boss in the game. The game is so much fun. I don't understand how it, how the game has got an over 8 8.0 8 review out of 10. This is another battle. Um, you're on a train here. You're fighting a giant snake. Or worm or whatever you want to call it. When I actually hit the desert, I sort of expected to fight this. Like when I played this, this was the first time I played it. My buddy's actually here playing now, train too. And I said to him, we're going to fight a snake in the desert. And why? Because I can remember in The Legend of Zelda, uh, the little centipede in the, in, the, in the deserts coming out when you went to the desert world. And it just, it was actually a worm. You might hear us talking there in the background. My buddy has a laser rifle. Why I edit this video is so you can constantly see the action instead of having to wait around going to pick up weapons and stuff and to save a bit of time. When I watch videos, I like to see the action, not just people walking around and stuff. So that's what I try to do for you guys. I think what the people don't like and why they reviewed it is if you watch, I uh, want to skip back there if you want to, just listen to me here first, is the why the line there's when a snake comes up. Well, when it comes up, they got smoke at it there, and you can't see where it actually goes into the desert. But when the smoke clears and stuff, you can see it's just a line, and like the the desert will come up, and the I guess that's what they're saying, going through polygons or something. You can walk through things, but <laughs> yeah, we said there we skipped out of small weapons and just picked up the big ones.
what that big worm is doing is slowly forcing us to the front of the train. Anyways, I skipped on here. This is another boss where you're fighting uh, two of those guys. We barely made this one. We have one, like one life left. Uh, I actually shown you the whole clip here. This is about this is as far as we are now in the game. We're gonna play it again probably later tonight. Graphics are gorgeous. Even in DirectX 9, I mean, I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on this, I'm thinking some of the later uh, integrated graphics is going to be able to play this game. It runs so smooth on my old computers, like, in between, I'm going to guesstimate here, 25 to 35 frames. That's how many in our GTS. Now, when it gets super heavy, it might drop down to around 20. But he's, he's got a, the, the computer has all the settings on high. If you were to drop all that down to low, you should be able to hit 30 frames solid with that old computer I'm using. Now, integrated graphics, if you turn everything on low, I can see why you can't play it. It might be like 15 to 25. I might give that a try later, but don't quote me on that now. But you're missing out on the graphics. See how like, he tears the buildings up? The animations have done really well, too. For people who aren't familiar with an AMD 1055, it's a 6-core uh, computer. I got it overclocked to uh, 3.25. Creams me. Trolls right into the door of a building. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. Frame rate doesn't even stutter. Props to the guys who program this game. It's coded excellent. I'm just going to state for the record, I give this game an 8.5. It may be even a 9 time. I'm Depends how long it is now. Like I said, this is as far as I am in the game, and I'm, this, I believe this is chapter 2 3. And we hit chapter 3. There's a cool scene coming up right now where he knocks down that tower. Fucking retarded looking. Loves it. does nothing I uh, I haven't picked up that there are Y and left trigger stuff I know you can charge weapons I believe I, I've read I haven't ever used it just been fighting it everything's been too hectic just fight 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 and that's it look how smooth it is it's gorgeous now, on my uh, 6 core, my uh, anti lacing is only set on 2x. And I did that because uh, I didn't want fraps to take too big of a hit so I can hold 30 the whole time I'm flying. I can actually run in that 8. Look at that. Look at a building come down. Gorge. Look at the smoke. Loved it. See that we got 500 battle gauge left, which means one more death and it's game over. I fucked out my buddies up there fighting the other guy. It's so cool seeing like a big mosh like that off in the background. So Lost Planet 2, uh, I can't recommend it enough. Ignore the reviews on this one. I um, I didn't like Final Fantasy XIV if you watched my previous reviews. I actually hated it. But th this game got bad reviews and I fucking love it. And I, that has to do with the co-op. It's integrated so well. My recommended specs would be at least a dual core at around 2.8. And I'm pretty sure you'll be able to apply this with an 8800 GT. Anyways, this is Dormancy Rain. I hope you enjoyed the little review.